excuse me, teacher. On um, what activity did we stop on? Uh, thank you for sharing. I think we are going to start. Eh? Before you go to regular, we are going to have a review. So kindly go back to Urban and Rural Life. Yes, thank you. Actually, it's on page 18. Eh? No, 11, sorry. Then from there, that's when we're going to look at adjectives. Yes, you scroll to 11, yes, keep scrolling. 11, page 11, that's the page that has uh, urban life. Okay, kindly scroll to, yes, that's where it has the urban life. So before we proceed, we are going to have a review and sharing from at least five people on what, uh, how they came up with the activity. So today I'm going to create for you where to submit your activity. I'm going to report it on e-learning, Narisonsa e-learning. Then, you submit your work, then I'll mark it. But before, I want to see what we, what did people come out with. So kindly scroll to the activity. Help us scroll to the activity. Then um, everyone is going to give us their ideas. Yes, this activity too. It tells us study the poems and write down the sentences. So we're going to start with bullet one, and I'm going to have like five people telling us how telling us how they came up with the answers and what kind of answers they got and how. So they tell us to study the poems and write down the sentences or phrases which give a true picture of life in both the town and the village. Uh, let me hear from you by show of hands. I need like four to five people. Yes, Rihanna. You can meet yourself, good. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, Rihanna, how are you? Fine. 
for the first one, I first I wrote town. The first I wrote town. Then mm -hmm. I described it as people shouting, factory mm -hmm. pollution, and water mm -hmm. comes from taps, accidents here, and you never see real darkness. Good. Then village. A village is a place of toil, old women dark and bent, trudging along with their horse while young wives like donkeys plod up and down with their timeless duties. Oh, good. Okay, uh, so you see in her analysis, she gave both a picture. Study the poem she studied and she gave a picture of both sides, the town and the village. Okay. Uh, let's listen from I had seen some other hand up, but she has any other person? Thank you, Rihanna. Martha. Um for the urban area, I wrote people shouting, factory pollution, in dogs wonder, water comes from a tap, and you never see where that is. And then for the village, village of unending work, all women work and then young wives like donkeys is lost in their back, and babies tied to their bodies. Uh -huh, good. Okay. Um, teacher took the South books. I can't tell. Okay, let me have some other person. Thank you, Martha. Any other person so that we can proceed? Any other person? Good morning, what's going on? I'm not seeing teacher. Are we doing a discussion? Someone please help and answer. Okay, I'm the teacher Paula, but I'm using the phone, so my video is not clear. Who's the teacher? Paula. Is it Paula Mukonda? Mukoda. Mukoda yes, we are, yes, we are reviewing our previous work, what we did, I think, on Tuesday. That is urban and rural life. So you can follow in. Eh? Is that okay? Sorry for the disturbance. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Any other person? Any other person? By show of hands, feel free. Any other person? Before we proceed, okay, we are going to listen from my son, Mason. Then yes, teacher. Good morning, teacher. Yes, good morning, good teacher. Um, yes. I would like to first ask Kalim. Before I answer, I would like to first ask um, Kalema um, Sharia to first yes, scroll, first to, the, scroll to, the, to the poem because. Oh, she first scrolls to the poem. Okay, it's okay. Let us go to the, the urban life. Yes. Okay. Um. The urban life, I get people shouting, factory pollution, an accident here. Um, thin dogs wander. Water comes for that tap. Water comes from a tap. You pay for everything, your food, your fun. Yeah, that's all from the factory okay. life, from the urban life, sorry. Then from the village, um, I get old women duck and bend, um, young wives like donkeys, um, from crop, 
from cock crow to setting of the sun go about their timeless digits and their bellies that's all okay okay that's good thank you for us okay it's okay uh let's listen from should we have okay any other person i think let's proceed unless so that is the analysis let's proceed to the next bullet let's proceed to the next bullet that has you to compare please scroll a bit up to the next bullet of the sentence yes that next bullet it says in your exercise books write in which of the two places mentioned in the poems above mm -hmm, you would like to live in and give three re reasons so we need three reasons from each okay is that okay three reasons i need three people then we can proceed to the adjectives Okay, let's listen from Martha, then Zoe. Um, I'd prefer to live in the rural area and my reasons are there is little news, there is no factory pollution, and there are less accidents. Let me have Zoe. Thank you. Your voice was a bit lower, Martha. But let's listen from Zoe. Um, good morning, teacher. Yes, good morning. Um, for me, for the village, I say that it is cheap, it is safe, it is relaxed. And for the town, it is fun, it has clean water, it is easy to access basic needs very good it is easy to access basic needs okay and it is easy to access basic needs like um like the clothes the food the water okay mm -hmm. access basic needs good okay one more person then we can proceed Uh, one more person. Thank you, Zoe. One more person. Mason. For the for the vill, um, I, I I prefer urban areas. My reasons are um, they have better. Urban areas have better education compared to town areas. And um, my other reason is they have urban areas have a better power supply compared to to, to rural areas. Sorry. Then my very last is urban areas have a, good, a better internet supply than rural areas. Very good. Very good. So let's proceed to adjectives. Before we proceed to adjectives, we need to discuss because uh, today I'm going to create the work. It's going to be, I'm going to create a scenario and it's going to give us the work we are going to do. It, but we are going to just study briefly about the adjectives. Then uh, we shall have an activity. I'll set it on the e-learning platform. Eh? 
Okay, so before we proceed, I need someone to define for us what an adjective is in their own understanding. Don't copy the definition given here. In your own understanding. Anyone will? Okay, let me have, I have two people participating. That is Mason and Rihanna. Okay, let me have, uh, let's listen from Rihanna, then Mason. I expect everyone at least to participate. Please feel free. Yes, Rihanna. We can't hear you. I can't hear you. I don't know whether I'm the only one. I can't hear her too. Rihanna. Sorry about that, we couldn't hear. I think she has left the class. Maybe she'll get back, okay. Mason. Um, in my own understanding, I think an adjective is a word that adds more, sorry, that define that, yeah, that adds more to a noun. Very good, it adds meaning to a noun. It modifies a noun, good. Any other person to try? Uh, Martha. Um. For me, an adjective is a word that adds more meaning to a noun. Mm -hmm. It adds more meaning to a noun. Good. Pamela? An adjective is a word Your network was shaky. I was not able to hear. I think maybe the rest as well. But you can unmute and speak once more. One more time. An adjective is a word that defines a noun. Good. It's a word that defines a noun. Okay. Good. I can see. Are we doing activity too? Or oh, someone is asking whether we're doing activity two. We finished it in the previous class and we're now looking at adjectives of which we shall have an activity on adjectives. I'm going to set it and it's going to be due on Tuesday because we're not going to fully finish the adjectives, but I'll create an assignment about adjectives. So it's going to reflect on your e-learning now since i learning i think tomorrow not today but tomorrow because i want to also put a video okay an adjective describes a noun good i'm reading the messages in the chat a word used to describe a noun thank you okay Just Excuse me, can anyone hear? Yeah, no, I cannot hear teacher. Yeah, same. Maybe teacher's connection is off. 
Yes, it was. Yes. Oh, sorry mm -hmm. about it. My network, my network was shaky. Okay. okay. Uh, kindly repeat. You can start from the introduction. Yes. Martha, were you the one reading? You can start from the introduction. I lost you a bit, my network. An adjective is a word that modifies a noun. An adjective defines, describes, gives clarity, gives more information about a noun. Example, smart girl, ball boy, smart and tall are words that give more information about the noun. They are adjectives. Activity. Mm -hmm. Let us revisit the poem we studied in the previous lesson, looking at the following expression. Okay, good. So, um, before you proceed, for example, you see the term girl. Uh, for example, smart girl, tall. So the words in the words in bold are the ones that are adjectives. Is that okay? That's why when in this activity, in the activity you see, we have been old weedy. Those are the adjectives. Okay, you can proceed with activity one. Um, activity one. Let us revisit the poem we studied in the previous session. Looking at the following expression. In dog, the word thin describes the hound dog. The dogs are thin. Old women. What kind of women walk well then? The old one. This means this means garden. The old one. Mm -hmm, good. The way the ones you can proceed to do. Young wives. It is the young wives who work like donkeys, not the old ones. The word thin, old, weedy, and young are used to modify them. They are called adjectives. Mm -hmm, very good. They are called adjectives. Okay. Uh, so, any questions before we proceed? I'm going to create an assignment on adjectives that everyone is going to do. I've seen someone in the chat communicating how the northerners had finished that, but it's okay. It's okay. We had to make a recap for those who are behind, and that's why we had to start from urban and rural life. But it's also okay to catch up and maybe make a review if you had covered them fully. Hope that is okay because I'm going to set an assignment and uh, and it's going to be different, so you still attempt it differently, and it's also going to have a video in it, so it's going to be I'll upload it I think tomorrow, so you check tomorrow the e-learning. So if even if you had covered it, it's okay. Feel free to proceed. I'm sure you learn something different. Okay. Any questions? Uh -huh. Someone even says they have never learned adjectives, which is good. So let's let's give chance to everyone because eh? all of us are here to learn. Okay. Any questions before we proceed? Anyone with a question? Okay, let's proceed. Um, so let me add something. Something you should note about adjectives is adjectives are very important in any writer because they modify sentences and they're going to modify nouns in every sentence. Meaning if you want, let's say, I think some of you, if you're writing maybe a story, a composition and you're using adjectives, your work is going to be more, more appealing to the person reading compared to someone who does not use anything like uh, an adjective. 
because an adjective modifies, it gives more meaning and it gives clarity to what exactly is being described. And more to that, adjectives are used for description. Description, any descriptive writing. So that is something you're supposed to also note. Okay, let's proceed. Someone to proceed to activity two. If my face here around, she can proceed. Ah. Someone. Okay. Study the adjectives in the box below and put them in a table as shown in the example. Noisy, fun, hard, busy, relaxed, clean, expensive, safe, cheap, dangerous, polluted, mountainous, difficult. Urban mm -hmm. life, noisy, busy. Village life, hard, relaxed. Okay, now here in this table, you see the thing, the thing there, we are still having what we've read in the poems, and that is urban and village. So however much, so what are we going to, something you're going to look at is, yes, we are describing urban life, but how can I use adjectives? Or if I was describing this, how would I use adjectives? Or if I was trying to write something descriptive to someone who has never been there, let's say you want to describe a village to someone who has never been in that village, or let's say you want to describe maybe a town that someone has never been. Uh, let's say, have you had a trip abroad? Have you had a trip maybe to the US, to New York, name it. So how would you describe that place to someone who has never been there? So this is a scene that we have urban, then the village life, okay? So you can proceed reading, but have that in mind. Okay. Can you please scroll? Please help us and scroll. Oh. Lesson one, regular and irregular verbs. Lesson outcome. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to use regular and irregular verbs correctly. Introduction. Verbs that form the past tense by adding ed or d to the present tense are called regular verbs, while those that end in other non-common ways are called irregular verbs. Activity. Look at the words in the ital italics in the sentences below. They are in the past tense. The lessons ended at 2 p.m. Okay. Most of us Okay, thank okay. you, thank you. Oh. So uh, this regular and irregular verbs is going to come in, but you see it's a different like subtopic. So what I'm going to request us to do is, we are going to discuss on the adjectives, then I'm going to come up with a session, the one that I'm going to record the activity, that is going to give us more meaning to adjectives. And we're going to start from regular and irregular on Tuesday. Is that okay? So that we don't mix up ideas. Let us first find, finish one idea, then we can proceed since there are some people who have not covered adjectives. But right now, I'm going to welcome questions and supplements or a compliment about adjectives. So help me scroll back to adjectives because this is giving us adjectives, but it's not in detail. So I'm going to create more work about adjectives with videos as well, and it's going to project uh, on, um, I think on Tuesday, we shall have to first review that, but everyone will access it over the weekend and Monday. Okay. So let me have compliments, reviews, and questions right now. Any questions? Any you've not understood, then we shall come up with a more detailed class. Mm. Okay, someone is asking which teacher is this? This is Miss Mary. Okay. Any questions, any supplements by show of hands about adjectives? You have any query about adjectives? Just ask. I'm here to answer the question. If 
you have a complement or you want something to, you want to add something to it for those who had covered adjectives feel free to do to do that I have a feeling most of you have questions, but feel free. Don't feel shy because now I'm going to give you the activity and it's going to be a bit hard. Because now if most of you show me you've, you've mastered, then I'm going to send an assignment about adjectives. I expect everyone to, to pick in. So feel free to ask. Good, my sensei she has understood. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to ask her a question. Okay, any other person? Okay, May soon you're going to give us an example of a you're going to give an example of a phrase with adjectives. Um teacher like forming a sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, that, wait, um, that woman is beautiful. That woman is beautiful. Okay, good. A phrase, meaning a phrase is like a compound sentence. Um, compound sentence as in like in which terms? Like, uh, what you gave is a simple sentence. So I need you to give a complex sentence using adjectives, meaning you're going to have like two or three in your sentence. Okay. Um, those young girls were playing with a dirty ball. Those young girls were, mm -hmm, those young girls. Okay, good. So she had, in her sentence, she has young and she has dirty. Good. Thank you, Mason. Any other person? Everyone is quiet. Eh? Okay, Kalema. I barely walk through that muddy road. I barely walk through that muddy road. Good. I noticed one adjective. Good. Uh -huh. Can you give us a more complex sentence with like three adjectives in your sentence? Kalema. You can try. Okay. Maybe I'm sorry, what it. are we doing? Let's be on track. Okay, Kalim, I want to. I heard the noisy children screaming because of the dangerous man coming towards them. Very good. Thank you very much. Because of the dangerous screaming, because of the dangerous man. Very good. The dangerous is undescribing. Okay, good. Uh, Shamsa, you have a question you want to answer? I had seen someone's hand up, but she has put it down. I don't know why. Okay, Paula. Math is fun, but also difficult. Math is fun, but also okay. Give us a complex one. Good. That is a simple one, Paula, but give us a complex one. Most of you are running out and I ask for a complex. Okay, let me listen from Vera. Was it Vera? If you have put your hand down. Um,
I think she has left, maybe, I don't know why. Okay, let's listen from, yeah. Nampera Valeria, yeah, Valeria. Is that the way you pronounce the name, Valeria? Yes. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead. Um, the concert we went to was very noisy and fun. Very noisy and fun, so she has noisy as her adjective, good. Okay. I uh -huh. someone posted in the chat. That girl is thin, poor, and starved. Very good. So she has three. She has thin, poor, and starved. Very good. Then she's a humble girl. That is the humble is the adjective in it. Her tomb is handsome. Those children are noisy. The flowers are beautiful. Okay. So now what we're going to do are, um, okay. Um, but anyway, I want to give us a more example, like a more complex sentence or phrase. Um, no, that's the only one I had. Okay, thank you. Let's listen from Rihanna. Oh, he was wealthy, he was still unhappy. Although he was wealthy, he was still unhappy. Very good. The wealthy bit, good and unhappy. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you. Okay, Paula, you want to give us a more complex one? I am very busy these days. I am very busy these days. Good, I can see Shamsa has written very busy. Yeah, the busy. Then she's going somewhere noisy, dark, and dangerous. Very good. So this is one of the complex ones. We have a complex sentence. She's going somewhere noisy, dark, and dangerous. Very good. At least I know now when I give people to write a story or a composition in a title, I'm sure people are going to do the right thing. And this is something we're going to look at. Because in the assignment now, I'm going to look at can people construct sentences? Can someone give us a descriptive writing using adjectives? Good. OK, let me read all the examples eh? so that everyone, OK, the beautiful teacher is writing a hard text on the rough blackboard. Very good. Beautiful is an adjective. Uh -huh. The beautiful teacher is writing a hard text that is describing how hard the text is hard is an adjective on the rough blackboard. Very good. Thank you, Victoria. Okay, and that old woman bought an expensive watch, old, then expensive, very good. Uh, then those sparkling watches are expensive, sparkling, very good, very good. Okay, I think this is Nuria, she says, the old woman walked slowly in the noisy, dusty market. Very good. And I like I like um I like the way people are thinking you're giving vivid examples. If someone says noisy that in market, that is something that is normal. Um let me give you an example of a noisy that in market. Uh Nakasero sometimes it's clean, but sometimes it's not so clean. Okay, or we know when it comes to all we know it is dusty sometimes and very noisy. Okay, that is like a zero market for those maybe who have been there. Okay, Mason, you have to you your hand is up. You want to give us a, an example? Mason. Yes. Um the yeah, yes, teacher. Um the woman knocked over a beautiful 12, 13 year old girl with her car. Very good. Knocked tall, beautiful with her car. Now, if you had even described the candy like with her old car, or maybe we'd say with her expensive car. Okay, so you can see at least I'm seeing people coming up with ideas, which is so good. At least I know if I gave you to describe or to write a descriptive, most of you are really doing great. Okay, I'm so much imp imp 
impressed. I'm proud of all of you. Good. Okay. Uh, let me get back to okay, Valeria. You can see um, your hand teacher, is up. Yeah, I have a question. Very good. You can go ahead. Um, okay, when we were in primary, there was this thing where they were saying order of adjectives. I don't remember whether it was adjectives exactly, but we used to like, there was a way like you order like- Opshakom. Oh yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Opshakom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. was, that, was that relating to adjectives or I remember badly? Yes, it's related to it's relating to sentence order, though uh, it up it applies yeah. then. Eh? You get me, but you can still bring it where here. What we have to do is eh, what you have to have in mind is a sentence is supposed to have a subject, verb, object. You get me, and when it comes to nopshakom, you notice n would stand for a noun. You get me. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then O would stand for opinion. Uh -huh. Opinion, good. And uh -huh. OP, yeah, Nobshakom. OP mm, and opinion, no, no, no. And S S stands for someone to give us what S stands for. Size. Size, very good. Uh-huh. Uh, it stands for yes. sign, mm -hmm. and C stands for color, right? Mm -hmm. C stands for mm -hmm. someone to give us what does C stand for? We have S. No, let me see. Then we have yes, it is no. Mm -hmm. Then I have S H stands for shape. Eh? Uh -huh. Then C stands for color. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. so why would they ask you to, to write them in that order? Uh, that time, actually, I think that is primary. They want they want you to learn how to write. In order, let's say I describe in a color, but right now you're not going to see a sentence and we're telling you to describe, to break the sentence or to tell us you have to do this and this. Uh, although when it comes to shape and color in that order, maybe you want to write an adjective, sorry, a sentence with maybe three adjectives, you have to, the shape comes first. Let me see the examples if someone maybe use that. The shape comes first and the color next. That is the only order. But uh, noun, opinion, uh, but most of the times when you're using adjectives for descriptive writing, we do not really, we just need, can someone describe, can they add no meaning to a noun? So this is a bit more advanced. Can you add a meaning to a noun? Uh, unless you would follow size, uh, size comes first, especially if you wanted to, let me give you an example. Um, the, the tall brown girl, the tall brown girl. Now there, when I say tall brown, at least you see the size comes first, then the color brown, then girl. Is that okay? So that is the order, but right now don't focus more on that. Focus on can you get adjectives to modify your sentence or your noun? Is that okay? Because with time you're going to do adjectives that you form on your own. Okay, hope that is okay. I don't know who I'd ask that question. Is it Valeria? Yes. Is that okay? Have you now, is it clear? Yes. Thank okay, you. good. Someone even already put it here. Number. Sorry, yeah, actually it stands for number. Let's say, but now it's very, let me see. Number, opinion. And most of the times you'd find they're giving you a sentence and they want you to rearrange it. You know, things they change, eh? but right now we would not give you sentences and we want you to change them based on this order. 
you get me eh? uh, but it's good to have that at the back of your mind so that when you write in a sentence okay i think this is pamela thank you pamela listed i think she bought she her determine opinion size shape age color origin okay i think she said determine and this was nice so uh, this one not the letters but i don't know exactly it's i think you are right in nopsha com this i think is parent but i don't know if she said nopsha com with pn i don't know mm. okay let me read this example from parent it says he dropped his expensive books when he started to run to the class so expensive come gives us the adjective good Rita is like, uh, God, yes, adorable and wonderful, baby. Very good, very good. Uh -huh. These are adjectives that really describe. Now, if someone described this baby as a uh, gorgeous, adorable and wonderful, this is so good. Wow. Okay, didn't learn about, someone saying didn't learn about purpose. I can't tell now. I didn't understand. Okay, any other question? Uh, Mason, you have something to say? Um, teacher, some people work at writing Dopsha Com. Areas we were told that Dopsha, we were told Dopsha Com, but it, it had determiner. It had determiner. It, it included all the numbers plus also the, the like. The, that such such um, adjectives like that, those and the rest. Then we also yeah. had opinion. It had size. It had shape. It had edge color, origin, material, and also the purpose. Like um, the purpose. How can I give it? Like okay. also a purpose uh, adjective. Okay, Mason. Uh, the determiner most of the times it's like an article. Article R, the. Those are the determiners of the sentence. So that could also be correct. It can also be correct based on what exactly did the teacher want maybe to drive home. And Nopshakom is also correct. But that was a question from Valeria. But we are not going to really focus on it, though, unless you really want to give a sentence that is going to be in that order or maybe you want to describe a color and color and size most of the times right now what you're going to maybe need is color and size and you have to know that the size comes first before the color but um, yeah but i don't think you're really going to have that in your classes okay let me see okay who's now Excuse me, teacher. Yes, please. Alexa, if they give us like, uh, Mary has a bag. It is blue. Mm -hmm. It is big. It is used for shopping. Like, uh -huh. how do you? It is blue. It is big. Now you see blue stands for color. It is big stands for size. And uh -huh. what was your last sentence? Oh, it is it for shopping. How do you arrange it? It is. It is used for shopping, right? Okay. So, if we, if that, the aim is you to arrange the word, you're going to follow the option call. Is that okay? Uh, who had asked the question? I think she has disappeared. Okay, I don't know. Um, Shamsa, you have something? Let me see. Uh, now there, you have to follow. You have those two kind, beautiful young Indian girls gave me this. Okay, this is an example from Shamsa. Shamsa, okay. Uh, someone was asking the question. I think that was Husna, right? Her shopping comes last. It's a purpose. Uh, someone answered you. Had you right? I don't know. So when you use Nopshakom, you're going to make this big, 
comes for size and size comes before the color. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh, I can see some of that is Mason. Mason, I think you could explain it to her. I saw you tried texting, but it was not clear what you're trying to say. Mason, you can explain. I think to Husna. Husna is still in class. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh -huh. Mason, you have tried explaining teacher. something. Excuse me, teacher. Hold on a bit. Not... Like shopping comes last year today. Uh -huh, you want Mary has a. Just now your own and all. Uh huh. Leave your mic. Uh huh. Good. Go ahead. She have got the answer. Thank you so much. Just now your own and all. Okay, give us the answer. You're rushing, eh? Oh, free. First, calm down, eh? Uh-huh, Husna, mm -hmm. tell us. Husna, have you left the class? Has she left the class? She's still there. Unmute yourself. I'm doing it. Me has a big blue. Uh-huh, give us your sentence that you tell us you put in the answer. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mary has a big blue bag for shopping. Uh -huh. Oh, you had said for shopping. I, okay, big blue bag for shopping. So now you see the ones you're arranging, Husna, it is uh, size and color. You get me? And now uh, you notice big and blue. Those are adjectives, those are adjectives. So the nopsha thing that I think that was the layer that had asked about, it comes in uh, maybe when you want to arrange them uh, in an adjective, but sometimes you're going to find you have adjectives that, uh, how do you call these adjectives? They're not going to be adjectives of size. For, like, for example, if it is adorable, if it is gorgeous, those are just describing, they're descriptive. Those are descriptive adjectives. I think I'm going to take you through the different kinds of adjectives. Adjectives are wide. We have adjectives of size, uh, size, color, uh, opinion. Uh, I think I'm going to also come up with that so that it's a bit clear. So this NCBC gives us adjectives, but it's brief. Eh? It's, it's not, it doesn't give us a clear view about adjectives and it's summarized. It has not given us the different types of adjectives. Uh, it has not given us uh, different ways of constructing adjectives. So I think these are things I'm going to come up with in the video and in the, I think, the assignments. Okay. I see Shamsa and Elizabeth have chat. Eh? I don't know what they're saying. Me, I don't know. Rita, where does use come from? I don't know. Mm, okay, someone asked which adjective which adjective describes you best. Uh, okay, someone said friendly. Okay, but now when I give uh, dif uh, the different kinds of adjectives and how those adjectives are used, you're going to see the different types and how those different types are used differently. I think this is what is going to solve this. Okay, unless there's a question, allow me to prepare for, I think it's not, I think I'm not going to create an assignment, but it's going to be our material for Tuesday. So that it is a bit wide, then we would have an assignment after we've looked at adjectives in different views and different perspectives. I think that's better that way. Okay, unless there's a question, allow me to end the class. Uh, please, uh, let us reduce on the chatting in the chat, but rather raise up our hands because not everyone is going to keep checking the chat. Eh? We can just raise up our hands and speak. Is that okay? So that we have an interactive class other than having a quiet class, but it's more in the chat. Eh? 
okay, there is no use of purpose. Okay, you see, by the time I go back to read, it becomes like I skip most of the things because the charts are many. Okay, then I say thanks for teaching. Good. Let's do more of practical speaking. Yes, May you have something to say? Um, teacher, I think by yes, they mean something. For example, uh, like when the, the adjective, when the, for example, let me give a, a um, shopping bag. They mean like where, where does, sorry, where does it fall when you're, when you're writing a sentence? That's what they were asking most of, that's what most people were asking, where does the use fall? And um, I think it falls in the purpose place like in Dobshakom, it like comes last before the before the noun exactly. It like comes, it precedes the noun ex, like exactly. Very good. Thank you for clarifying that. You see now when it came in the chat, they had typed it wrong. That's why I think most of us didn't understand what exactly she was meaning. Thank you for clearing that, Mason. Good. Okay, Ashley, I can see you've texted, but I don't know what you're saying. Is let's reduce on the chat in used to me, used to mean purpose. Okay. So you see, sometimes when you're texting, it sounds different, and sometimes people will not understand what exactly someone meant. Unlike when someone is speaking, you can get what the person is trying to say. Okay, it was nice having a class with you before. Have a blessed day. Unless there's a question, let's meet on Tuesday. On Tuesday, it's going to be a different class. I'll upload videos and more details about injectives. Hope that is going to be helpful to everyone. It says we are work. It says we are work. I'm like, are you asking today? Like, is there work for today? That's what you ask. Yes. Oh no. I'm not going to create work today. Uh, I'm going to create uh, the material to assignment that is going to have all the things that we're going to use on Tuesday, but you have access to it over the weekend and Monday before we have our class. Is that okay? Yes, teacher. Teacher, it's please. Okay, thank you. Bye. Have a good um, day. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Have a good day. Okay. Bye, teacher. You too. Nice weekend. Nice weekend. Thank you too. Bye.